play is fundamental for a cat, helping them to both maintain a healthy physical constitution and a positive emotional state. It's common for domestic house cats to have limited means to exercise their innate hunting instincts, often causing frustration or redirection of this behaviour into attacking their guardian's hands or ankles. In this new video from Animal Wise, we show you everything you need to know about playing with cats by recommending toys and detailing the feline instincts related to games. We also provide ideas and tips to help improve their quality of life through play. Lifestyle significantly influences the behaviour and well-being of our felines. Although cats can sleep between 12 and 18 hours a day, it's important to highlight they have an intense level of activity when they are awake. This can often be diminished when we have a cat which lives in a home without access to the outside. In these cases, the felines can't carry out the hunting behaviour which would take up to about 6 hours of their day in the wild. This is because the wild cats need to find food to sustain themselves. This can translate to bored cats, cats with weight problems, or those which compulsively chase things. Additionally, this problem is aggravated when the guardian is unable to correctly interpret feline language, thinking the cat is looking for food when they actually seek social interaction and play. By playing with cats, we improve their quality of life and the bond with their owner, as well as preventing problems related to excessive weight and stress. This is why playing with a cat is so important. Cats are curious animals that need to experience new things to feel stimulated, and it's important to emphasise that commercial toys should not be the exclusive form their entertainment takes. A cat can play with plants, boxes, or pretty much any object which enters our home and piques their curiosity or provides some type of challenge. However, when wanting to play with a cat, it may be advisable to use toys to avoid getting scratched or bitten since play behaviour is so closely related to hunting. What toys should we choose to know how to play with a cat and motivate them in a positive and successful way? Hunting toys are usually recommended, including fishing rod toys which have a lure at the end to attract the cat. This could include feathers or a pipe cleaner to mimic birds and insects, although each cat has their preference. We can also find toy mice or interactive toys that move by themselves. Some even emit a noise to add extra attractiveness. We can also use intelligence toys such as the Kong or similar varieties which act as food dispensers. In general, these types of toys combine physical and mental stimulation but don't include the guardian as a participant in the games. Many people confuse environmental enrichment with simply leaving lots of toys around. This is a mistake as cats will show a lot of interest in various objects, substances and new smells. This is why we often see them stop playing when we play with a static toy which doesn't offer them much curiosity. Even when we talk about interactive games or toys that move by themselves, the cat can lose interest. For this reason, it can be a good idea to have a box with our cat's toys and remove one or two of them every day. This way we can mix up what toys they play with and replace them again when things get a little stale. We can use toys we keep aside as a surprise when it comes time to interact and play together. However, we can also rub them with catnip or some other smell they enjoy and leave them for the times they are left alone. A university study was carried out on 165 shelter cats to research animal welfare. Cats placed in an enriched environment with care based on positive reinforcement and consistency showed significant improvement in well-being and a reduction in stress in comparison to those without these influences. In the majority of cases, these cats also took more opportunities to interact and carry out natural play. How long should you play with a cat each day? It's important to note that the needs vary according to each individual. Although it is a fact that play can improve the levels of stress and anxiety in the feline, a study from the journal Animal Behaviour highlights the negative effects of excess stimulation. It can significantly increase stressful situations and it isn't always an indicator of well-being in the case of cats that have been deprived of stimulation for a long time. Therefore, play should always be carried out progressively, adapting it to the individual and their specific needs for games and stress reduction. However, on average, the daily playing time should be approximately 30 minutes. We hope you find the advice about playing with cats useful and it offers some tips about how to improve interaction with your cat. If you have any of your own suggestions you'd like to add, please do so in the comments. We'll see you next time.